ITX Council for having me here today. I'm pleased to be here to represent the United States Trade and Development Agency. USTDA has a unique mandate. We work alongside and in support of US industry to further the implementation of infrastructure projects in emerging markets. For more than 25 years, USTDA has worked with our African partners to provide project preparation assistance to develop information and communications technology infrastructure across the continent. Some of our earliest successes on the continent were in the ICT sector. For example, in 1994, we funded a feasibility study that helped the African Development Bank update its voice and data communication systems. And that same year, we brought an official delegation from South Africa to the United States, led by its then Minister of Communications, to meet with US companies and deepen their understanding of American satellite communications technologies. Both of these projects helped our African partners gain insight into the latest US technologies to best meet their needs. USTDA support helps address key challenges in Africa's ICT sector, including increasing connectivity, cybersecurity, e-government capabilities, data center infrastructure, assessing smart cities technologies, and many others. And our unique mission also creates opportunities for US companies to supply cutting edge technologies that these projects need. Sub-Saharan Africa is USTDA's largest portfolio, and we invest almost double here than we do in any other region in the world. And a big driver of that growth is US industry's increased engagement in Africa. USTDA is responding to the rising demand for increased connectivity and associated infrastructure in Sub-Saharan Africa. In late June, we launched the Access Africa Initiative. Access Africa is a partnership between USTDA and US industry to support the development of quality ICT infrastructure and services across Sub-Saharan Africa. We are working with our US industry partners for the initiative, including Cisco, Intel, Qualcomm, Adoptrum, General Electric, Palo Alto Networks, Symantec, and the Corporate Council on Africa, and soon to include many more US industry partners, along with Africa's public and private sectors, to unite critical stakeholders and design targeted programming to advance inclusive, secure, and sustainable connectivity. And the commitment by these US companies and associations to partner with USTDA on Access Africa is just one illustration of the interest and presence of US industry in Sub-Saharan Africa's ICT sector. As a part of Access Africa, USTDA is supporting a series of three reverse trade missions over the next year to bring overseas project sponsors to the United States and introduce them to innovative US ICT technologies and services. And we are also supporting four workshops focusing on commercial and industrial standards for the ICT sector. And the first workshop, focused on connectivity standards in South Africa, is taking place here at the Santon Convention Center today. And of course, USTDA encourages the submission of initial ICT infrastructure development proposals so that overseas partners and American companies can give us their best ideas for how we can connect US expertise and technologies and software to the rapidly transforming ICT sector in Sub-Saharan Africa. And while Access Africa may be a new initiative, it builds on USTDA's long-standing record of success linking African partners in over 20 countries to US solutions. USTDA programming supported the CECOM undersea fiber optic cable project that links the southern tip of Africa to East Africa and to markets in Europe and Asia. This project has significantly improved bandwidth capacity in the region. And these affordable, reliable, high-speed connections have enhanced business growth, spurred innovation, and increased productivity. CECOM's undersea fiber optic cable was built using American goods and services. This past June, USTDA and CECOM signed an agreement that will fund a feasibility study to help CECOM determine where to expand ICT infrastructure in Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, and Tanzania. And the study will assess the market 
for fiber telecommunication services and recommend potential investments in areas including fiber optic cabling and network equipment. Here in South Africa, USTDA has a long-standing partnership with the city of Cape Town. USTDA supported project planning for a digital inclusion project in Cape Town to improve internet access and affordability in two townships. And as a result of this project, Cape Town used technology from more than 10 American companies to extend internet connectivity to the townships, providing more than 275 individual building connections and over 1,000 Wi-Fi hotspots to connect users to internet at speeds many times faster than what was previously available. And USDDA continues to expand its partnership with the city of Cape Town. We are currently funding a master plan to assess and prioritize digitally integrated infrastructure investments, including intelligent transportation systems, safety and security, and digital literacy. Through Access Africa, USTDA looks forward to building many more strong partnerships with ICT stakeholders that will help shape the ICT sector in Africa in the years ahead. And through being here today, we hope to get to know new partners and understand your priorities. As we look to expand the scope of our Access Africa initiative, we hope to support you as you work to implement critical ICT projects in Sub-Saharan Africa. Thank you.